Good day everyone, another frosty guide for you all today. Today we're going to be tackling chimps on Bazaar with our favourite hero with clean cuts, Sada. Let's get stuck right into it. Sada starts right here. Don't put it too far to the right or you'll struggle to clear a few waves. Grab a sniper in line with the top path in the middle of round 8, set it strong and leave it there for the rest of the game. Druid right here. Upgrade the druid to druid of the jungle with the top path when you can afford to. Leaping sword on round 15 when the pings start to make it far. Buy up two discount villages and give the bottom one larger radius. Grab an ace at the bottom and upgrade it to 203. Leaping sword the camos on 37. Grab an alchemist and upgrade it to 300 before round 40. On round 40, you can leaping sword for safety, but as you see here, sometimes you're just lucky and you don't need it. That's my professional advice for today. Just get lucky! Past round 40, first upgrade your top village to radar scanner, then upgrade your alchemist to a 420. Grab a heli above both villages and upgrade it to 302, then 402 when you can afford it. You shouldn't have to micro at all in these rounds, though it certainly helps. I didn't have to control my heli once, so again, just get lucky! After upgrading to a 402 heli, grab a 420 alchemist to support it up above. Don't worry about trying to get both village buffs, just place it in range of at least one. From there, you can save all the way up to Apache Prime. You'll only maybe need to ability once on 78 for the camo wave, and maybe 81 as well if you're feeling dangerous, but you can afford Apache Prime by the start of 82 either way, so it shouldn't affect you. Alright, clean up time. Start by upgrading to an MIB, then purchase an overclock. Again, money isn't so important, so you don't need to place it in discount range. Afterwards, grab a sabotage before round 93, sabotage on round 93, shave the top two trees, grab a 420 sniper next to your top alchemist and set it to strong. Come round 95, sabotage as soon as the first DDT appears. Here, I don't overclock as well, but I highly suggest that you do as things can get a little bit awkward. Lastly, you'll purchase this up, upgrade it to first strike, and then use the rest of your money on whatever you please. I choose to get a spike storm. On round 98, you'll overclock on the first fortified mobs that start to emerge. If all goes according to plan, you shouldn't have to do anything else. On round 99, again sabotage as the first DDT appears. Come round 100, overclock straight away. Then use whatever abilities you need to, then first strike when the bad touches these crates. Just be prepared to use Sado abilities if you mess up the timing. Anyway, hope this guide helped you with Bazaar. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, like the video and subscribe. See you all next time.